Welcome back YouTubers. So today we are moving along the N54 build and this piece right here we was waiting for a minute. So basically this is a one piece crank hub. The old hub had two separate parts and it didn't have these pins. The only thing holding it together was this bolt and a friction disc. So this mates to the crankshaft and um, because when you raise a horsepower you raise a torque and eventually there was documented cases where this hub would slip independent from the crankshaft that would cause the timing to go out and if you do that you have big serious problems with your motor so to prevent this we're going to be using this um, basically this came with a jig basically I gotta bolt this to the crankshaft now I did some research it doesn't matter which orientation that you put it in because somehow you still can sync up the timing so I'm gonna screw this in first All right, ready mm -hmm. All right, so I'm just running down the jig I'm just gonna keep it like that even though it's not necessary I put cylinder number one at top dead center and I'm gonna put the pin holes at um, three and nine o'clock So you just want to get this snug. See the motor's gonna rotate. You just want to get it snug enough so that it doesn't move while you drill it. So they supply this drill bit in the kit. Um, it's gonna be the proper size so the pins can go in the hole. And um, now that the jig is on, you guys can see it in there. And I gotta actually drill through the template until I get to the crankshaft so um you got to be mindful like of the depth that you're going so what I'm gonna do is you see how this drill bit has a step I'm gonna drill it all the way until it reaches a step So now you guys can see the two holes in the crankshaft for the pins to align into. They're out after the smoke disappeared. <laughs> Looks like it's gonna work, man. So the hub is holding in there just by the pins. I didn't even put the bolt in yet. Just trying to make sure the depth is right. That way when you tighten the bolt, it's not binding against the crankshaft because it's too shallow. All right, guys, so basically we have to install the vacuum pump first. This is um, supplies vacuum for the brake booster and also like the wastegate actuators and stuff like that. So if you look at the gasket, it has these three tabs. That way you can only put this in one direction. So if you look at the vacuum pump, you have two grooves here and then you have one groove on this side. So you want to line your gasket up the proper way. So I just got this like this. It's kind of tough to get in there, but once you get it in there, it'll just slide right down. All right, so that's how your gasket should sit. And then you got three new hardware, three new bolts, basically. This goes from the back of the motor. You want to make sure that this portion is facing up. But right now I got the engine upside down. So it's actually going to be facing down. So the bolt pattern should match up with it facing down. Alright, good. 
I'm basically going to be using a T30 and the torque spec is going to be 11 Newton meters. So I have this quarter inch torque wrench. So I'm going to drop this in here and we're going to torque that down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run them all snug first and then I'll torque them. So like that's snug. Snug. So we got the oil pump sprocket and chain here. You can see this has words on one side, so that's gonna be the front. And then we have the, the guide. So I'm gonna set the oil pump gear in that little groove right there. And then basically this is like slide rails. So I believe it goes like this, something like that. So one section rides over the crank hub and then this section rides over the vacuum pump and this side is the oil pump. Okay guys, so I figured out that I have to put on the vacuum pump sprocket first. So this is what I'm doing now. If you look carefully at the, the sprocket, it has some etched letters and numbers in it. You wanna make sure that's facing out towards you. So I have the, um, the bolt here set to, to oil it, lightly oil it. So I did that already. And the torque spec is 66 Newton meters. So I'm just gonna run this down snug. Make sure that it's sitting on there flat. It will have a little play in it. So we'll just run this down like this. So basically when I try to torque it, it's gonna wanna spin. So I'm gonna have to try to jam it. BMW probably has some kind of special tool to hold it, but I'm just gonna try to torque it a different way. Okay guys, so this is my first time doing this and it was pretty tricky, but I'm gonna save you guys the trouble. So basically, make sure you put on the vacuum pump first, then the vacuum pump sprocket, right? And then you wanna get your oil pump chain and all that stuff situated, all your parts ready. And um, next, you wanna put your main chain in with the hub. And then as you're putting the hub on, you're gonna get the oil pump chain onto the hub as well. And then you got your oil pump gear is gonna be the last thing that you put on. But for you to do that, you're gonna to have to rotate the motor so that way you could get all the slack out of the chain. Otherwise, it's gonna be impossible to get this oil pump sprocket on. Then I added the main timing guide. So basically I had to slip the chain between the two rails and then I slid it up because I got the motor upside down right now. And then that access port I was talking about earlier, that's where you're gonna put the pin to hold the, the chain guide. So now we gotta find the torque spec for this and the torque spec for this. The oil pump is irrelevant to the timing because it just rotates and rotates, it doesn't matter. So we don't have to worry about that right now. All right guys, so I'm gonna start um, torquing this guide pin here for the timing chain guide so i'm gonna just run it down by hand snug and then the torque spec is 20 newton meters so i got my torque wrench already set ready to go that's it 20. all right so you got to make sure this is free to move because that's a pivot point for the the guide rail so that's good then you just got to put back your cap here i'm not going to put it back right now because i don't have this washer i'm going to replace this washer because 
my pet peeve is oil leaks. I'm so sick of oil leaks. I'm changing anything that has to do with a seal. Okay guys, so this is a special tool from BMW. It's used to hold the crankshaft because as you try to tighten this bolt, the crankshaft is gonna wanna rotate. So you gotta have somebody hold this side or anchor it somewhere, that way it doesn't move. So basically it came with three bolts. I'm gonna probably put it somewhere like in this position so my buddy can hold it for me while I torque it down. So now I'm reinstalling that bolt that holds the oil pump guide in place. So I'm just going to run it up snug first. Alright, that's snug. So the torque spec for this bolt, uh, this one right here, is 4 newton meters, 45 degrees. So I do have a torque wrench that can do 4 newton meters. However, I don't have one that can do 45 degrees on this low of a value. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at 90 and go halfway because half of 90 is 45 degrees. So if I was here, this would be 90. So if I was here, this would be 45. So let's do 4 newton meters first. That's 4, right? So let's just set our torque wrench up straight. So like, no. All right, so this right here, let's say I'm at six o'clock and nine o'clock would be 90 degrees. So I wanna be somewhere at like seven and a half o'clock, if that makes sense. Right there, it's 45 degrees. Okay, and then there's another cap that goes there as well. So now that this is secure, this is secure, um, we're gonna torque this, which is 100 Newton meters then 360 degrees. Okay guys, so it's a 22 millimeter socket. Got my torque wrench set on 100 Newton meters. And we're gonna go for the pre-torque. hit 100 now we got to do 360 degrees angle all right guys so we got the torque wrench set on 360 degrees got the special tool on there Phil's gonna hold it and then I marked the bolt with a sharpie and the tool so this bolt got to travel a full circle and that's when it's torqued Shit. <laughs> There's no way that shit can go around some more, bro. Ow. There's no way. It. Look, Brett. Where? <laughs> <laughs> Where are we getting to? <laughs> Yo, I'm scared because this thing flexing this shit. Yeah.
Yes, it is. That's what's making me. That's me, what me and Vanessa, we looked at each other like. Alright, so Vanessa, you hold the, you give it. I thought it was supposed to happen like that. Ready? Back brace it. Hold it back, please. Oh, for real? Yeah. Serious? Just hold it? No. You hold up closer to here. And then you hold here. Make sure it don't turn. Yeah, so make sure what you about to do. Make sure my weight turn. Do put some interns. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. oh my god! <laughs> 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 yo, yo, yo. I knew that was gonna happen. I felt it. Was that supposed to happen or what was oh, supposed to no, happen? Oh man. Did it break? This thing, yeah. Uh... The, the, the jack, the uh. Just let it go. Just yeah, let, let me not touch it no more. Sorry. Oh, no one got hurt, right? It's not your fault. No one got hurt? No. I, that's what I was afraid of. I thought somebody's foot got I don't hurt. think the motor, the motor is fine. I think this is just this that broke it off. It was bending. No, the bolts that was holding it. I think it should be good though. What? Now we gotta pick that thing what, up. bro? That shit's heavy. That shit's heavy. We caught that on camera. Oh, you did? Oh, we did. Content. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let me get that memory card. <laughs> All right, guys. So even though I dropped a freaking motor, I can't believe this. Everything looks intact. It didn't fall on the timing chain guide. So um, the bolts broke that was holding it to the engine stand. Those were those stupid aluminum bolts, and they were already uh, stretched. That's probably why they failed. So um, now I got this braced against the floor. I'm gonna go ahead and try to finish the 360. to 